Hey guys, Paul Pluter on the Archie Luxury channel. And today, guys, I want to talk about something that's happened in the world news. It's uh, George Pell. George Pell. George Pell was the third highest ranking Catholic. That's right. Third highest. He was the treasurer at the Vatican. And unfortunate, well, I wouldn't say unfortunate, He's been charged with historical, historical, which means these were crimes that were committed quite a number of years ago. And <clears throat> I got to be honest with you, it's a very, 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 um, very, very disturbing revelation because uh, I, I don't know how you guys handle this but i mean in australia one thing about australia yes we are a bit of a nanny state yes <coughs> we we are it's an expensive western world place but i think our judiciary is pretty damn fair it's not like fucking china or egypt or russia it's quite a fair cheers fuckers and the fact that George Pell has been convicted in a, a court here, he had one of the best barristers money can buy. And um, George Pell is now behind bars. <coughs> and it's interesting. <clears throat> I, I wrote to George Pell, <clears throat> not about that issue, about another issue. If you click on the link, there was a priest in Melbourne who was a real fucking nasty cunt he was just nasty he was uh, abusing these kids these kids were okay they, they, they were troublesome youths <clears throat> they were using riding their skateboard and scooters on a parish property and this priest just went absolute foul-mouthed fucker and i i kind of wrote to george i wrote to george Pell and said this is fucking terrible and George Pell's, <coughs> I'm trying to find that. I've still got that letter somewhere. George Pell's response was basically, he's no longer there. He's done this. He just fucking fobbed it off. And, and I've got to be honest with you. George Pell came across as a fucking uncaring son of a bitch. And i got to be honest with you. George Pell himself there, he, he's... he's uh, He's a cantankerous fucking cunt, okay? He is a fucking nasty cunt. He doesn't come across as a cardinal should. He's very much old school in the sense that thou should worship and this and that, and he's holier than thou, but he's not holier than thou. He's a man like every uh, other man. He's a human. He's not a god as such. And i got to be completely frank with you. George Pell has always been a bit of a pompous fuck. And I, um, George Pell, rose to power. I actually knew people who were in the priesthood who, who kind of had contact with, with George Pell. And they said he was always a pompous fuck. He came from a moneyed family. He therefore went to the good universities to study theology. And his clothes were always the Italian tailored robes. They weren't just the, um, the home brand robes for priests. He had the, the tailored Italian robes. And they always said he always... He always thought he was better than, than everyone else. This is coming from people in the church. And i got to be honest with you. George Pell, um, he, uh, he, was, he was very, very powerful in, in the Catholic Church. And he was very powerful in the Australian Catholic Church. And I've got to be honest with you. I think... I think he's guilty. I really do think he's guilty. The Australian judicial system, call it whatever you want, no judicial system is perfect, but 
I think it's pretty good. Separation of powers, government interference in the judiciary. I don't think we have that to any extent uh, like other countries. I think the judicial system in Australia is probably the one of the, the better judicial systems in the world. He fought his case and he was found guilty. And I think you've got to respect the, the jury's verdict and, and the, 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 the leading judge's direction. And um, it's, it's all very well for um, these people to say, oh, he wanted his day in court. Well, he had his day in court and he was found fucking guilty. Hang the bastard. Hang the bastard. And i got to be completely frank with you. I, I wrote to George Pell and he came across as a fucking arrogant prick. That's what he came across as. As a fucking arrogant prick. And I, I was disappointed with his response. There's nothing loving about George Pell. He's a cunt. He's a corporate lawyer in a frock who's now a convicted pedophile. What a nasty fuck. And it's interesting. A lot of people have said he's stitched up. Maybe he was stitched up. Maybe he was this. And I say, hey, 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 hey just to stop the truck, back the truck up. I don't personally know George Pell. But my um, dealing with him, I wrote to him a number of years ago. He was just an arrogant cunt. And i got to be honest with you. People have said, oh, he was stitched up. Oh, he was this. Oh, he was this. Well, ha hang on. I think maybe his conviction is like rats. You see one rat, but there's 20 other rats in your house. Maybe we could apply that to the Pell case. He's been charged for one thing, but <coughs> maybe there could be more incidences. And uh, I've got to be completely honest with you. I, I really don't warm to the guy. I find him a fucking miserable cunt. That's how I find him. I find him to be a miserable asshole. I wrote to him. <coughs> and his high and mighty response was less than satisfactory. <clears throat> I was complaining about another priest. <clears throat> Who was, uh, who was, uh, who was abusing these kids in Melbourne, and 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 and, and you can see the link in the description. And George Pell's answer was fucking hopeless. And uh, he's a, he's a politician. George Pell is not a loving con person. He's just a slimy fucking politician. And uh, I hope the son of a bitch burns in hell. It's interesting. You know, I've got a love-hate relationship with the Catholic Church. I had a very good father in America who contacted me, Father Richard. He's a lovely guy. He's a watch collector. He's a really cool guy. And I find it hard myself. I have this hatred of the church. Because when you try and approach the church and ask them questions, they're very, very elusive. I contacted the priest in this video here. I believe he's at the Sunshine Coast. And I contacted the parish and said, is this the same guy? And they treated me like a criminal for asking. Why should I be ashamed to ask that question? Am I allowed to ask, is this guy the same guy who's in your church? They could have turned that around and said, look, Yes, that's father, blah, blah, blah. He was in a bad situation. If they would have explained it to me, I would be coming back to the faith. The faith. Instead, they make me seem like a criminal for asking about their behavior. And I find that really quite offensive. The Catholic Church is, in my opinion... A bunch of fucking cunts. Not only that, 
but I'm starting to see situations where a lot of the, the schools were the Christian Brothers schools. They've suddenly been turning into Edmund Rice schools. Why is that? Is that to stop legal situations? If someone sues the Christian Brothers, they therefore have no assets? Nothing would surprise me with these slimy sons of bitches called the Catholic Church. And I've got to be honest with you. The Catholic Church makes me very angry. Very angry. I wrote to my local parish priest a number of years ago and told him I wanted to quit his church and I was disgusted by the priests and all this behavior that had gone on. Do you think he picked up the phone or wrote back to me? No, he's too important. Well, rotten hell, you fucking slimy cunt. That's all I can say. Rotten fucking hell, you slimy son of a bitch. I'm Archie Luxury. <coughs> This has been my segment and rant on George Pell. Tell me what you think of the evil son of a bitch.